See who will succeed John Bell Edwards as governor of Louisiana. As Rob Masson reports, more than a half dozen candidates signed up to run as qualifying began in Baton Rouge. Leah Meg signs have been up for months, but now it's official as qualifying begins for several big parish and statewide races to be decided this fall. How y'all doing? For nearly eight years, John Bell Edwards has been the dominant political figure in Louisiana, but that's about to change. I think I've been trained up at such a time as this for a change, for an improvement of Louisiana. And so um, God's allowed me to get in this race. I got in it 18 months ago. Seven candidates signed up for the governor's office as qualifying opened in Baton Rouge, with many saying they have what it takes to turn Louisiana around. As a legislator, I fought against many budget gimmicks, awful spending habits, and the culture of transactional politics. The system of backroom deals will die when I'm in office. I've worked on all sides of the aisles to get things done for Louisiana in Democratic as well as Republican administrations. My work has improved the lives of people and businesses here in our great state. Though our political analyst says the odds of a Democrat retaking the Louisiana governor's mansion are long, he says it's not totally out of the question. His best shot at winning is if, is if all the Republicans slice each other up um, and damage each other um, in the primary. Dillard's Dr. Robert Collins says largely unrestricted money from political action committees outside Louisiana will play a large part in an election where tens of millions of dollars will be spent on campaign ads and billboards. There are issues that, that, that affect them. I mean, there are, there, there are energy issues that they're interested in. There are regulatory issues that they're interested in, oil and gas issues. Attorney General Jeff Landry and State Senator now Sharon Hewitt are expected to qualify Wednesday. Done. Dr. Collins says the winning candidate will likely spend close to $10 million to get their message out. And he says the race is just beginning. And Stephen Wagisback is expected to qualify later this week. Qualifying continues through Thursday afternoon. Candidates are also lining up for several big council and parish president races in Jefferson, St. Bernard, and St. Tammany. Lee?